Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, yeah. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I hope you are well and safe like always. This video is an exciting tag video and this video came from watching Samantha March and Allie Glines collab video that just went up a couple days ago. Well, at this point almost a week ago when this goes up and I'm really excited to actually do this tag video and put it up. <laughs> um, and I did my research like I actually sat down and wrote down everything and I went through my palette and I made sure that to my knowledge to the best of my ability my answers are truthful <laughs> in my opinion <laughs> um, I added two more I don't like the number 13 I just there's certain even and odd numbers that I like and it's just, I, just, I just don't like that number it has nothing to do with like bad luck or oh October 13th or Friday 13th whatever I just don't like 13 so I decided to do 15. I just feel like that's more of a solid number. My, um, I did have to repeat one, just FYI, but only one I made sure. Um, let's see, what else? So what little other tidbits to get out before, out of the way before we start this video. Oh, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing and um, don't forget to hit that like button at the end of this video and just leave me down below what you would keep or what you would name as each of these categories um down in the comments and let me get started with this video already right all right let's go okay so the tag was like kind of like show your um show your blank blank palette um and she samantha explained that she saw this on tiktok and she just wanted to thought it would be a good video idea and Hence, that was born with a collab with Allie Glines. I'll link both of their videos down in the description box. And let's get started with what I chose for my tag video. The first one is show your newest palette. My newest palette is the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Glam Palette. And this is what it looks like. I'll show you a little close up. And I've been using this. This is currently in my stash for this month and I've gotten to use every shade except that one so I'm you know working on using every shade and um so I can review newest baby and she is beautiful she is little but she is fierce and my oldest palette I actually was surprised at this because this was at the bottom of my drawer and I thought it was a different palette when I um when I saw this first, um, my oldest palette, I automatically went to um, the Jaclyn Hill palette. But actually, my oldest palette in my collection is the Carly Bible Deluxe palette. How much of a throwback is this? Isn't that crazy? I really didn't think that. I, I had the original one, the smaller one. But I decided to declutter that one a long time ago when I got this one. Because they were very similar. And... There was no point in me keeping both of the same, basically the same palette, but this is what it looks like. Isn't that like crazy that I have this, um, well not crazy, but just kind of like a, and the little quote that aspire to aspire. And yeah, I broke the mirror, but I don't use the mirror in the palettes anyway, so it doesn't matter. But this is such a beautiful palette. I love this palette. The reason that I actually love this palette is this shade right here. And let me swatch it for it because like, come on. It's like this dual chrome pink gold. I love it. This is my oldest palette. And of course, you know, I had highlighters at the bottom. And I absolutely, I, I can't wait to pull this palette back into my stash. I think I might do that next month. Kind of looking at it, it's kind of like, hmm, I know it's older. But I'm not ready for, to say goodbye. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not ready yet. Oh, my most expensive palette is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. And this palette is $65.00. And I was lucky enough to be to be or oh, be gifted this palette by my boyfriend for Valentine's Day, and it's just a beautiful uh, pinks and reds and purple um, skin palette. And I really really enjoy the formula. Like this formula is so amazing. But yeah, sixty five dollars. I have not gotten up the the craziness, the crazy bug to buy the hundred and twenty nine palette. Um, the one that I, if I had my eye, look, my look on, um, the one that I've had my eyes on is the gold palette. However, I think I can dupe that, so, eh, you know, or the Metropolis. 
but I'm not quite ready to spend $129 on those palettes. Now, if they went on sale, if they went on sale for a significant amount, you bet I'd be there. So we go from 65 to a super affordable palette and it's a great amazing quality too is the elf um bite size shadows and i have well the one i pulled out was rose water because this is my favorite one i have two other ones i have pumpkin pie and cream and um cream and sugar i still want to get a couple more but this is what that looks like it has that mauvey scheme and oh my goodness just oh my goodness <laughs> This is a great palette. I mean, you can see that I've used this palette. And I love the mauves. Like, I'm obsessed with the mauves. But this has such great quality. The, sh the shimmers, to me, are the best. Like, the mattes are great, too. But the shimmers, at, at least, at, actually, out of all three palettes, are so creamy. So reflective. So beautiful. Like, oh, my God. For $3? If you haven't picked any of these up, what are you waiting for? I'm just saying. Okay. The next one was your show your everyday palette. So I don't really have an everyday palette for two reasons. I shop my stash, I rotate it monthly, and I don't wear makeup every day. Most days I don't wear makeup actually. Um, but if I was to like pick one palette and this is a palette that you get to wear like maybe five out of seven days and then you'll have a fun palette I guess that's what my understanding was or at least what I will interpret this as will be the Going Coconuts palette by Colourpop just because it is a neutral palette I mean neutral palette but you can still create such great looks um, with this you can do a very smoky look but you can also do more just a simple look and just go in with two shades um, or go for all mattes and you can just do a variety of like techniques and different um, eye color, like not only techniques, but also, um, what is that? Different looks. So techniques and different looks using this one palette. And for every day, I think this is a perfect palette for that, in my opinion. And it's just great quality. I mean, all ColourPop palettes are great quality. I have not come across one that's like, oh, not yet. And I probably won't because honestly, they just, I feel like they just improved their formula. So we're only going to see magic from them. Okay. My most colorful palette. I was choosing between two for these. One because one had more jewel tones. But I feel like the most colorful means like the most bright. The most like kind of almost in your face palette. But not necessarily having any neutrals in it. And the jewel tone did have more neutrals. And I just... and. For me in my collection i feel like this is the most colorful palette and it's one of the very few colorful bright color um palettes that i actually have in my collection the other two that i had i decluttered them and it's actually the bh festival weekend festival palette and this is what it looks like and this was 2017 weekend or this is a 2017 festival palette and honestly i think it's the best one that they had the color scheme of and i still absolutely love it the quality is great um I still love the colors I haven't used all the colors but still I mean I know right three years and I still haven't used all the colors but I've used most of them and I just think it's great quality and yeah it's the only really bright eyeshadow that I have in my collection okay the next one number eight seven excuse me number seven my smallest palette it has to go again to the e.l.f. bite size palettes just because they are the smallest palettes that I own. I tried to um, do it against another palette that I had, but actually this is this is, this is a little baby, a little tiny baby. A good, tiny little baby, but yeah, this is the smallest one that I had. Not much explanation there. Um, my biggest palette, I had a couple to choose from, and I was like almost like measuring them and you know taking out a ruler, short of taking out a ruler. I really it looked to me like my Jaclyn Hill palette was the biggest one that I own um also the pan size is pretty big too compared to the other ones that I thought were bigger but yeah I still have this and this is actually the 2017 original palette because you know controversy with that of course um but as you can see I have my little paper taped up here for the names and yeah I still use this from time to time I just pulled into my 
stash a couple months ago and I mean the quality the quality of this palette is amazing the 2017 one amazing um let's see number nine best memory show your palette with the best memory out of my collection the one I think that has not the one I think the one that I know has the most special uh, memory attached to it is this one which is storybook storybook excuse me storybook cosmetics wizardy and wizardry and witchcraft palette and that's what this looks like and it's a book that's what it looks like and the reason this is very special to me is because my boyfriend gifted this to me on our first Christmas together and I just every time I look at this palette it always reminds me of Christmas and usually it's when I use it the most around that time um even the color scheme just reminds me of the holiday colors like these very pretty jewel tone colors very smoky colors and yeah um we didn't actually get to spend Christmas together because we had to go see our respective families and um they were in separate countries but when we came back, we had our own little Christmas celebration and I he gave me this because he knew that I love makeup and I love books and he's like, what better combination than this? And I just, not thinking about it, it just makes me want to cry. But yeah, I think that's, that's really sweet. And I still keep it a very special place. I keep it separate things, separately from everything else. I keep it displayed, so. Okay, um, moving on. <laughs> Number 10. Um, show your palette worth the hype my palette that's worth the hype um i had in between a couple palettes um but to me the anastasia jackie Aina palette is the one that's absolutely worth the hype and the money not only the hype but the money um and a lot of people were like oh should i get it should i not they released so many palettes but like once people started getting into the hands and playing with it they were like oh my god and literally, oh my, you know, oh um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this palette is worth it just for this color alone right here. Like this one right here. Like, it's a dual chrome. And honestly, I had been looking for this kind of color or something similar that I could mix since that um, Kelly Clarkson video. Oh my gosh, what was that video? This video? And I'm gonna try to show you like a still of that makeup. Oh my god, I tried for the longest time to like freaking find something similar to that. I mean, I went everywhere. Just for that shade alone, when I saw that shade and I saw it in the store and I was blown away by this palette. Like this palette is beautiful. And currently, I know it's on sale, and it saddens me that they're going to discontinue it. Of course, most collabs are limited edition, but this is definitely one of the better, not the, one of the best palettes I own in my entire collection, to be honest. And, yeah, definitely worth the hype. If you haven't picked this up already, honestly, if these dark color tones are your, you know, your jam, pick it up. Pick it up, especially because it is on sale. It is worth it. It is worth it. Okay. And for number 11, a uh, palette not worth the hype, it's another HBH, ABH palette, and it's Modern Renaissance. I mean, I like it. It's really nice. It's a really pretty palette, and I have used it, but honestly, I could honestly do without this palette. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't... I bought it because of the hype. That's why I honestly bought it, and it's a very subtle palette like it's pigmented but it's like a I think the color scheme they were going for like very subtle very romantic palette um but I'm just eh, I mean I like it I don't love it um which is why I think it's it's not worth the hype like if I was going to if I if I was going to recommend this to someone it's a great quality palette it is but I recommend something else over this one to be honest or a different H ABH palette over this particular one i just i just don't think it is worth the hype uh, no excuse me excuse me jump in the gun here um favorite palette from a favorite brand so one of, i have a lot so definitely top three 
favorite brand is ColourPop. Like, maybe even number one. I don't know. Um, so, definitely a favorite brand. And my favorite palette from them is discontinued now, unfortunately. And I'm so glad I picked up a new one. And I wish I had known that it was going to get discontinued when they did the little sell a couple months ago. I would have picked up a backup. Sadly, I didn't know. <sighs> That's my baby. The Dream Street palette. It makes me sad to know that this was discontinued, to be honest. Um, and the reason that I absolutely love this palette, besides this beautiful, beautiful color scheme and almost unique color story, are these two shades. The teal. Both these teals right here. Right here. That, to me, those three right there is what makes the palette. Like, I absolutely love the entire palette. Love it. I mean... A great palette and the other palette that I had the one that I originally had my dog peed on it which is why I had to buy another one um I had worn down the shade so much this one and I think that one those two were my mo no lie shooting star potion and Mooney were my most worn down shades um in the other palette but then my dog peed on it and I had to throw it away and buy another one um I just I love this palette. This palette is literally my baby. It, I just, I mean, obviously you can see the wall behind me it has that teal shade. I had to paint it white to kind of reflect a little bit better. That's why this is a favorite shade. This is a favorite palette, and it's gone. It makes me so sad. <laughs> okay. Um. So this is the last prompt that they had. I added two more. Um, the most, your, show your most used palette. My use, my most used palette overall, um, I would say is, again, because I have so many palettes and, you know, I rotate them, but before I had so many palettes, even now, I think when I jumped back on the train for this one, I was like, yes, um, it's actually another color pop palette and it's the double entendre, double entendre palette. Is it? Yeah. Double entendre palette. They're um, neutral, not neutral, they're, oh my gosh, what is it called? Yeah, basically a neutral palette. It, it, that's what it is, a neutral um, everyday wearing palette in their 12 pan. And actually a lot of people said that this was a dupe for the Tarte Toasty, Toasted? The Tarte Toasted palette. And when I looked at them by, like, not side by side, but I looked at this one and then I looked at the Tarte um, Toasted palette, which is, I wanted it. Um, but I looked at it in store and I was like, oh yeah, the, if you rearrange the shades and like you kind of ignore the reflective backing, they do, I mean, color for color dupes, honestly. I accept that this one's way better quality is what I've heard. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've worn down a lot of these shades down. And of course the shimmer, even the shimmers, I've worn down the shimmers. So let me show you a close up so you can actually see that. That I've actually worn it. And it's actually pretty messy considering that I don't like to be messy with my palettes. And yeah, it's my most worn. And I do enjoy the formula, of course. Colourpop, right? So I added two more um, prompts. And number 14, um, show your palette to travel with. Or like a palette that I just think that is just great to travel with. Easy to travel with. Great color scheme. Great quality. Not going to fail you. Um, and you can get different eye looks from it is going to be the Persona Identity Palette. I went to Mexico to visit my family in December and I only bought two palettes. I was going to be gone for like two weeks almost. I bought this one. I brought this one and then the Identity 2 because I had just purchased them and I hadn't used them. And honestly, they're such great little convenient palettes to travel with. Um, like the color schemes, the quality is amazing. This is honestly what I use for Christmas. Like Christmas Eve, um, that's what when we celebrate Christmas. And that's what I used. I, I loved it. I love the way that you could build up every shade and the shimmers, the metallics in here. Oh, they are so beautiful. They are so beautiful and creamy and just beaming on your eyes like nothing else. Like you need to go in with a light hand and build it up if you want to. I mean, the mattes in here, they, Sona did such a great job choosing the mattes in here. Like, I absolutely fell in love with this palette. Like, this, and I, I got the Identity 2 palette too, but this is the one that I used the most. I really, really enjoyed this one. 
Okay, and my last prompt, number 15, show a palette with the most unique, interesting color scheme. I had two, and I'm still kind of like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. So I think I'm going to show two for this one. I'm going to cheat. I mean, this is my prompt, my video, my channel. So I'm just going to choose two. Um, just because they're both very unique color um, color schemes, very unique palettes, um, very unique ideas behind them. And I just think I'm going to showcase both just because I really like both. The first one is the So Jaded palette by Kathleen Lights in ColourPop um, Cosmetics. And it's the, you know, based off the crystals. Very unique theme, um, very unique like palette idea. And that reflects in the shadows. Like, I think this is probably the best jewel tone color shades that I have in my collection. Like when she came out with this, I was like, this is what I've been wanting. Like. I have very few palettes that actually have like these jewel tone colors like very beautiful she did such a great job with the quality the only drawback to this palette is that there's two glitters in here I don't know why there's two glitters in here but yeah I don't touch glitters like that like these are pretty but I just I don't really use glitters like that at least not these I feel like the color pops are very um very chunky sometimes these aren't so chunky as other ones like not the opal one maybe the opal one i would wear but i would definitely not touch topaz i would not touch topaz at all like i just maybe something for halloween or something but yeah um but anyways overall the color scheme is beautiful i think there's very unique there's very few neutral colors which is what i like um they're just very true jewel toned colors <laughs> and you can create so many unique looks and also another thing that I really like about this palette if you haven't seen um, like sometimes like you look at the quads and you can make an eye look almost out of everything and I think that's a very unique like color selection for this so you can take quads if you get overwhelmed by big palettes you can just do that and you know it'll help you kind of visualize your eye look and my other palette, I think this is overall most unique palette that I have overall in presentation, um, story, and color scheme. Yeah. And this is the Kat Von D. When it was Kat Von D, this was in her like heyday Kat Von D ness palette. I mean, you know, before all that drama went down. Um, and it's the Saint and Center palette. And when I, this came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. I, I need to have it. And I went out and purchased it. Luckily, I had like a discount code for it or something. And it was when Sephora, I don't know if I was a Sephora VIV sell or I don't even remember. That's how long ago it was. And I just wasn't into make, like makeup 100% like, like I am now. Um, but I did love eyeshadow palettes. And I love the story behind it is that she went to like Europe and she saw all these cathedrals and she was really inspired by it. And that's why she made this. And I think the coolest thing about it is that it opens up like the doors of an actual cathedral and then you'll have the mirrors on the sides and you have the actual color scheme in the middle. I mean the color, you have the actual palette in the middle and it's a very, very unique color story. I absolutely like, I love it. Uh, I used it as much as I've wanted to, but I'm going to make sure that I pull it in soon to my stash. Um, so yeah, this completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you are watching and you have a channel, I hope you make it and let me know so I can watch it. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.